What's up, guys? Got this nice bench made mini grip terrier 557 in Tonto blade orientation. Uh, I love the geometry in that blade. Just take a look at that. How awesome that looks. That's beautiful. And the axis lock just falls shut every time. Wonderful, wonderful knife. Absolutely perfect size. It's uh, 6.78 inches long. It's uh, about a half inch thick. It's got an S30V blade. Tonto, obviously. Bench made. Has the axis lock. So, uh, good for right or left hand carry. Either or tip up carry. The pocket clip. Um. Can get the, uh, deep carry pocket clip for it if you want. All you have to do is just call Benchmade and ask. They'll send you one out for free, apparently. I just uh, really like this knife because it, it disappears into your pocket. You pull it out, it's there. It's a good, strong, sturdy knife with a really hard blade steel with a sharp edge. It's just not a lot more you could ask for in a knife as far as functionality. S30B. Steel holds a really good edge. Not super difficult to sharpen. It's uh, 2.91 inch blade length on the guy. Not a huge knife. Well, it comes in under three inches, so that's good. Stainless steel liners, uh, phosphor bronze washers. Don't think you'd be able to see up in there, but oh, it's there. I can see them. Designed by Mel Pardue. It's just, it's been around for a while, you know. Nice knife. Works out great. Actually, good size uh, for smaller hands or women. It's, uh, it's an overall good knife. Not much bad you can say about it. Fit and finish is pretty good in my opinion, which I'm new to knives, so could be totally bad. I really do like the way the fall shut. Oh, that's just, it feels so good. It's just like the best feeling in the world to me, right? I never knew about bench made or axis lock locks. Sorry, axis locks before. And once I discovered them, I mean, this is this is the pinnacle for locks, unassisted. Oh, it just feels so great. I don't really know much that you could do to harm this. It's got a pretty pretty good thickness on the blade still, as a matter of fact. Um, comes down to a really good edge. It's got that bevel there. Bevel there. Not too bad to sharpen. When you go to sharpen, just keep your uh, line straight and it'll stay beautiful. It's a super knife in my opinion. Especially for the price. I paid uh, right around $110 for this guy. After tax. $102 was the list price. Um, worth every penny. Worth more. Got away without paying the butterfly tax for this guy. just 
awesome to fidget. It's got this noise when it's opening. It just, it sounds so good, listen. It's just wonderful, I know, I know. Maybe, maybe I'm just a little nutty, but when you like a knife, you like a knife. And I really like this knife. This is a wonderful, wonderful design. Great size, good for smaller hands, good for women to carry. Um, women could actually boot carry the knife. Just clip it on the inside of their boot. Nobody will ever notice it. Um, actually going to give this knife to my girlfriend for her everyday carry knife. She's recently started talking about liking this everyday carry since we went down this YouTube rabbit hole with Nick Shabazz and Metal Complex and Blade HQ and oh, so many, so many. Knife Center for sure. Watching these videos over and over, studying these knives, falling in love with all these different knives. So uh, what better with my time? When I'm at home alone, my girlfriend's at work, my son isn't here, review these knives, buy these knives, see what these knives are all about, and resell them after the fact, if it's not something that I want to keep, and if it makes it to my private collection, awesome. Most will to begin with because I have a few in mind that I want to buy and I do not see myself wanting to sell any of those. This is a great knife. I may have to go buy one just for myself. That's all I have to say, buddy. Y'all have a good night.